la concerne la concerne Youth Association Press Conference. On the sale of the la aviation land, including the la aviation parks, by some members of the la traditional council, and matters arising. The media present, fellow citizens of La, all protocols observed. We, the leadership of the La Concerned Youth Association, welcome you to, to this morning's August press conference designed to deal with the ignominy and unimaginable lack of transparency surrounding the sale of the La civil aviation land including the, the La Aviation Park. It will recall that the government of Ghana, through the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, released about 60 acres of unused bare land to the La Traditional Council. After the council had petitioned government to that effect. Indeed, the disbursement and subsequent sale of this released land established the foundation of this morning's press conference. The media present, fellow citizens of La, it is shocking to note that in the transaction, only 17 acres of the released land came to the La traditional authorities, with the remaining 43% going to the government, the civil aviation authority, and private developers. In the MOU that consummated the transaction, the people of La did not only lose 43 acres of the land to the government, but also lost, arguably, the biggest and the only surviving community park in La, the La Aviation Park. By the loss of the park, 38 private and government schools and 10 lower division clubs will be denied the use of the park, including over 50,000 50, non-professional footballers. The transaction in its entirety poses several questions to elements of the La traditional council, especially the Mankralu and Shikiteri, to answer. Question number one, why must they renegotiate the lease on the land when the current lease has about 25 years to expire? Question number two, why was the lease extended to 99 years when the new trend is now 50 years? Question three, as the Mankralo and the Shikite got the capacity to release a stool land, why was this transaction conducted only days after the, after the demands of the Lamanje? Why did the government sublease 17 acres to La when they are the original owners of the land? Question number six. Why was the supposed agent in this transaction be rewarded with two plus and additionally purchase six acres to sell, which is now which is now selling for over $1.5 million per acre, having bought the said land cheaper from the La Elders. Question seven, why must the La Traditional Council hasten to support the creation of modern estate houses for aliens and strangers, while creating zones for a whole? Having shown a string incompetence, lack of foresight, and insensitivity to the needs of the community during the transaction with the government, we call on the Mankralu 
Shikitei and Akpashonche to immediately resign their positions on the traditional council. We are also calling for immediate dissolution of the La Traditional Council as the cabinet members have brought the sacrosanity of the council into disrepute and public ridicule. Indeed, they represent their own interests and not that of the good people of La. We wish to inform government that with the reacquisition of the 60 acres of La Aviation Lands, having already acquired 30 acres of the same aviation land for the construction of the AU village, not to mention thousands of acres of La Lands previously acquired for various state uses, we, the people of La, believe that the government is systematically pushing us to extinction. Presently, there is no existing reserved land to accommodate our ever-growing population needs in La. Why must government disrupt social life in La by acquiring the only surviving football park in La? We are calling on the government to re-engage the last two for the renegotiation of the entire aviation lease. We are finally requesting government to explain circumstances under which government and civil aviation authority representatives on the negotiating table ended up being rewarded with various plots of La aviation lands. We wish to assure all citizens of La that we shall do everything within the bounds of humanity to ensure that not only the MOU that consummated the transfer of the aviation lands to the government is reviewed, but also the aviation park is restored to the youth of La and the adjoining schools. We are also calling on uh, the special prosecutor to investigate the circumstances under which appointees of government ended up getting portions of the aviation land meant for government projects. May the Lord Almighty continue to protect and guide us in our struggle to retrieve the la aviation lands, which was acquired initially by government, but now in the hands of private individuals to the detriment of the good people of La. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Ganagwe Restoration and Renewal International. Uh, this group, as it said, at the diaspora. So we are the local base. So we are here to add our voice to the press, press release. So here we go. La Aviation Land Lease Old Mature Renewal. Premature Renewal. Presented by Gadangwe Restoration and Renewal International. We hereby evoke and write on the general principles governing the lease renewal as we did when we spoke to the La Youth recently, before considering the details of the illegal release renewal documents. The release must the lease. The lease must expire before it can be renewed. The landlord as the final say in, in whether the lease should be renewed or not, and what terms, not the lessee. If the landlord decide not to renew the lease, then the lease must quit, leaving all property intact for the owner to possess as his personal property. Renewing the lease midstream amounts to depriving the landlord illegally of the right to finance. The landlord in this case is the last two, not the government of Ghana at all. Hence the government of Ghana cannot dictate to the last two when, where, what to do and not entitled to any benefit whatsoever. It is 
a matter between the last two and the Lizzi, in which the last two, as the final say, the government of Ghana is totally not welcome. Those involved in renewing the lease mystery are hard dying, sorry, are die hard criminals whose proper place in, is in jail. The La Youth should stand their ground. That any renewal of the lease, of the lease midstream is illegal and unacceptable. The last two represent the La people as a whole, of which the La Youth is the, com is the comfortable majority, not the Lume of La at all. The La Youth has not authorized any Lume at any appropriate traditional deba to renew the lease illegally midstream. Hence, the renewal of the lease is not void. The illegal renewal document. Please note that in the illegal renewal document, the government sought the consent of only two women and their personal elders, the Mangralo and the Shikiteli alone do not represent or constitute the La traditional council. Secondly, the Mangalo and the Shikiteli are not members of the La Jase that comprises the La royal houses only. Hence, the La Jase, which bears the authority of the last two, was totally bypassed. The proper consent should have been sought from the La people as a whole, and at a traditional deba with both the La Jase and the La Traditional Council present. Minutes taken at such a deba is what can be, it what can provide evidence as to whether the La people as a whole consented. In any case, the lease has to expire first before such consent can be sought. Why did the ministry seek renewal before the expiry date? Why did the ministry, why didn't the ministry seek simultaneously the consent of the La Traditional Council as a whole? The La Jase as a whole and the La People as a whole. Why did the ministry focus on only the Mangalu and the Shikiteli? Definitely, there is something fishy. The Mangralo and the Shikiteli are definitely corrupt and must be compared to abdicate in jail for violating their oath of traditional office to act only in consent with the only with the consent of the La people. They have acted only in their own narrow self-interest and betrayed the people of La after receiving 30 pieces of silver from the same government of Ghana that shot and wounded several people of La, demonstrating against illegal grab of La lands. Such judases are unfit to be Lumoen, representing the people they so treacherously betrayed. The Gardanga Restoration and Renewal International, that's the GDRI, wishes to ensure, sorry, wishes to assure the people of La its on its unflinching support for their just cause. It encourages the people of La to fight relentlessly for their rights, for La rights, uh, Gadangri rights, since La is an integral part of Gadangri. The GDRI further calls upon the La people to lend their unflinching support to, to Gadangri's fighting for their rights everywhere, fighting for their rights everywhere, and to register to become member of GDRRI without any hesitation. Long live Gadangwe, long live the people of Pla. To 
cut it uh, short and go straight on what they said, I think it's quite unfortunate and very, very uh, disrespectful to the elders. Um, they did a demonstration on the 4th of January, presented a petition to the MCE. I have a copy here. The MCE referred it to us. We've invited the MCE. He came to us some weeks back. And then we gave the MCE our concerns. Uh, we had issues with um, what uh, they put in the petition. The petition came from a group calling itself La Concerned Youth uh, Association. And the title of the petition was Petition Submitted to the La MCE Towards the Reversal of the Sale of Aviation Football Park and the Entire La um, Aviation Land. Uh, our first issue was with um, the title. The aviation lands that we know in La are not at uh, a single place. So which point were they talking about? That is the first issue that we wanted clarity on because it was a petition. And uh, petitions should be very specific and then straightforward. So we asked uh, the MC to let them clarify which uh, part of the aviation lands they are talking about. Uh, what they said was the civil aviation, entire aviation land was released to the last two by the Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, civil Aviation Authority uh, has not released any land uh, to us. In the petition, they also stated that we've wickedly traded the park for some few cities. Wickedly traded the parks for some few cities. Then uh, they came down to say that oh, we didn't have um, capacity or our capacity, those of us who executed the deal, our capacity uh, was a source of worry to them. These are very, very grave allegations, spurious ones to say. So we asked the MCE to let them provide evidence of that. The evidence that civil aviation has released lands to the last two. The evidence that we've traded the park for some few cities and then why our capacity was a source of worry to them. They asked the MCE to reverse the uh, entire what aviation lands arrangement. Um, we left that to him. But for the allegations that they made, that we sold a pack for some few cities, and that aviation, civil aviation has released lands to us, they should provide uh, evidence of that. After that, the same group circulated uh, an MOU that we executed with government concerning the La Wireless um, um, Aviation Lands. Uh, in their petition, they were talking about entire live aviation lands. For your information, we have lands that has been allocated to the civil aviation at two places or two areas within the La traditional area. The first one is the La Wireless, close to cantonment, and then where we call the Adenta uh, Wireless Aviation. So when you say entire la civil aviation land, what are you talking about? You have to come clear on that. That is what we told the MCE, he should let them come clear with uh, better particulars. We are yet to hear from the MCE. Then they circulated the MOU that they claim we signed with government that is a bad uh, agreement and that those of us who executed also lacked um, capacity to do that. They have not approached us on their concerns about the agreements being bad. Uh, we are leaders. We are not perfect beings. We might not always be right, but we deserve to be treated fairly. 
So if we've done something that you have an issue over, you have to come to us. They have not come to us, but they are circulating the MOU in town and in social media, claiming we've done a bad deal, and then those of us who executed do not have um, capacity. We don't know their grounds for saying we do not have um, capacity. After the demonstration, we realized that most of those involved were predominantly from one quarter, that is one of the ruling quarters, known as the Kui quarter, of which we have their reps or their elders at the traditional council, that is the Jaseche and uh, Professor Bloody Glover. So we spoke to them and they did the media engagement and said they are not in support of what their children are doing. That they know what we've done and that they do not uh, approve of their conduct of insulting um, um, elders. That was done uh, about a week ago, exactly a week ago. Then today, they hold a press conference attacking us again with facts that are not uh, in tandem, wholly in tandem with what they earlier put out in their petition. If you look at the documents, La Consent Youth Association, in one breath, they are talking about uh, entire aviation lands. In another breath, La Aviation Lands, including La Aviation Park, which of them? And then saying that we have signed an MOU that we didn't have the capacity to sign and asked a lot of um, questions. But our issue, with, with, uh, we've spoken to some of your colleagues at the traditional council before uh, you folks came uh, to me, and we put it out to them that the words that they use were inappropriate and not deserving of those calling themselves concerned and then responsible youth to use such words on their elders, ignominy, meaning public shame, unimaginable lack of transparency. And then you go on to say we are incompetent, extremely incompetent, we lack foresight, and go on to call for our resignation without providing concrete grounds for those. So looking at their conduct and the two documents that uh, I have cited, we are at a loss what they actually want. We don't know whether it's just the quest to attack the characters of some of us or they really have a genuine concern. They are not being coherent. You do a press conference, you do a demonstration, you present a petition. What are you up to? Why don't you wait to follow through what you started with the petition and then the demonstration? I don't know whether they've gone back to the MCE because we've not heard from the MCE that they should substantiate their allegations. And then they come with the same spurious allegations, saying that we've sold uh, six acres to an agent, and the agent is selling for 1.5 million US dollar per acre, that we gave the agent um, two plots. We don't know that any agent have sold any land for 1.5 million dollars per acre. What they should have done was to show you the receipt that agent so so and so sold the land that we gave to him at 1.5 million dollars as they have shown you the mou they cannot pick and choose they showed you the mou they should show you the receipt of the 1.5 million dollars and the document showing that the agent that we used has sold the land they can't engage the media and then based their submissions on speculations and unfounded allegations. Think the first time that they, they, they did the demonstration that you came. I asked you, that did you tell them to provide evidence 
The only evidence that they've provided is the MOU. The terms are in. Their concerns should be very clear. That you were supposed to do this and you did this, that wasn't in the interest of the town. We will sit down and deliberate over that. If we have gone the wrong way, we would have known how to go about it. But you just be churning out things without any concrete facts. So everything that they are putting out there are based on allegations. Based on allegations. We've done an arrangement with government. If you have a concern, come clear, but not to uh, put out uh, allegations and then uh, uh, attack uh, our characters and then uh, call for our resignation. So uh, in a nutshell, uh, they've not dealt with us fairly. Their conduct has been very disrespectful. And the facts that they've put there, I'm not going to call them uh, facts, uh, the information that they've put there uh, are wild allegations that they need uh, uh, to prove, which uh, I would like you to ask uh, them to provide uh, evidence that uh, an agent uh, that we give the land to has sold is selling one acre for uh, 1.5 million dollars. What they initially said, what uh, was going on in town is we've sold all the land. Uh, you can recall your previous engagement with uh, us. They 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 didn't put a number on it. Now they are saying we've sold six acres, meaning we've not even sold all the land. But initially they were saying we've sold all the land. We negotiated in the best interest of the town and with the advice of um, a senior lawyer. If you look at the MOU, point 14 states that the AU village will remain will not be renewed. We did it for a reason. We did it for a reason because we fought over it and government ignored us. We went to um, the Supreme Court and then we lost. Were they expecting the same thing for us to take on government to court and then at the end of the day we lose and lose everything? No. No. That is why we negotiated with government and made government aware that what we were bitter over, we are not going to include it in this arrangement. It was a bit of a tussle, but they have to accept it. Point 14 in the MOU, we rig fenced AU village, 30 acres. That will come back to La when the um, original lease uh, expires. So we didn't go uh, to do things in our own interest or in our personal interest. And per se, whatever thing we did, I don't think any have gone into anybody's personal interest. Every, every arrangement that we've done concerning that land uh, was through due process. And where the monies have to go, they've gone there. It hasn't gone to individual pockets. So uh, their conduct is a bit worrying. And uh, as um, journalists, as you are propagating uh, uh, the spread of uh, uh, information to educate people, you should propagate discipline too. You shouldn't let unruly youth call you to waste your time over such issues. They have two documents within the short space of time. That's very confusing and incoherent. So um, that is our case. They've been unfair to us, disrespectful, and uh, they are just throwing tantrums and wild allegations.